not bad for a video right there. Uh, doing the entire dungeon and defeating a boss. This is just him talking with himself. Uh, he thinks that his sword is cursed and that the gods are toying with him because for I don't know why. Being Neji's descendant or something. That's what he thinks at least. So, okay, now come on. My time was so much better than that. This game's rating system is stupid. Not really. No, we're gonna keep going. Anyways, why isn't it Wolfie? Yay, I'm Wolfie. Um, yeah, the Canine Warriors respect me. I am their lord and master. Figures in. Yeah, see, jumpy stuff like that that wreck, wrecks your running speed. Just out of curiosity, let's turn the volume up. Because I realized that I was actually kind of quiet. When on all reality, it's it's at least as loud as I am right now. It's just weird. It's like the microphone uh, picks up uh, electronic sounds a lot weaker than actual vibrations in the air sounds. Meaning non-electronic. Ah. Uh. Anyways. Nope. Skip. Up. Ah, that way. There we go. Oh, I took a tree down with me, too. Uh, okay, you, I'm gonna need a couple more mermaid points from you. I think. Oh, sweet, Infinity Judge! Alright! Can't buy the gold dust now, though. Actually, what if we sell stuff? See those treasures? Sell them. Sell it all. It's, it's only worth what it is right now. Just keep doing this. Okay. Oops, did I sell something important? I don't think I did. Alright, we need that. We need that. Sweet. We're stocking up. So, now where are we off to? You know what? I'm gonna have to equip the gold dust to Infinity Judge. And yeah, with my with my money limitation for no praise, I'm not able to actually get some of the other some of the final weapons there. At least of the important ones. Oh yeah, what am I doing? Uh, Re equip. <laughs> Yeah, so you probably can't hear the music, but it's playing very softly right now. Once we get right down there, it'll boost up. There you see. Anyways, now we're off back towards uh, first place, Shirinui Fields. Shinshu Fields. And we will be greeted with much demise. And if I'm wrong, that's going to be very bad. It shouldn't be, though. Do, 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 do. Ah, ha, ha, see? It looks like a storm's coming in. That would be right, Azun. Actually, I wonder, is there anything important from this guy that I didn't get? I know I'm adding like full 30 seconds to the video, but uh, I just want to make sure. Uh, flight foot. Don't need that. Spirit storm. Increased attack rate of razory. Golden fury. I didn't buy the golden fury? Oh Jesus, no wonder I don't have enough demon horns! Frick! I mean, yeah, we're just boosting the attack of the Razories right now. Oh my god, I gotta get the freaking Golden Fury. For most of the guys coming up, I don't even know how to get the... Uh, you know, Demon Horn from them. 
Okay. Wait. What the hell? What? Oh, I got these from beating uh, the guy just now. Of course. I'm amazing. Not bad. Keep it up. No! I'm leaving! Urgh! I don't like you. I seriously didn't buy the Golden Fury? Jeez. Ah. How did, how did that even work? Whatever. Sweet, we got new razories. All the weapons in this game are awesome. Can I, like, how far can I go up here? Aw, invisible wall. A very long invisible wall. Alright, so, yeah. Oh yeah, we didn't explain about the festival. You know how uh, every, every year... Or... Actually, I don't know how often the festival happens, but the point is, this is the 100th year after Orochi was defeated, and this is the night of the festival, and everybody's gonna have a ball, except for one little problem, that nobody's having a ball. And that would be because they're angry at Sano for drinking all the purification sake, that's right. Oh, and then we just missed the whole thing that just happened, didn't we? Um, so then where is Kushi? Oh yeah, she's out here. Okay, so what just happened right now is that, uh... Oh yeah, Sano told everybody that he was the one that pulled the sword and let, Oro let Orochi free to, you know, destroy the world and stuff. And then uh, we heard Orochi's, you know, big mighty roar and one of the arrows thingies that were supposed to choose the maiden for the sacrifice uh, came and went hit the house of her, Kushi. And so now she's taking herself and the white ceremonial robe and the sake to over to Orochi, which is this way, not that way. Because she is just that good of a person. And we tried talking to Sano to do something about it, but, you know, he's too big of an emo or whatever. I mean, he's like a scaredy emo or whatever. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and, uh... Oh yeah, and also about the eight purification sake that Kushi brings here. It's important to remember to have because that's what was the... Uh, Shiranui and, uh, not Neji, Neji or Nagi or whatever you want to call them used to defeat Orochi a hundred years ago. We got that on us right now. Or, actually, Kushi has it on her. We have Kushi on us. And I believe, yes, there will be a very annoying fight right here that involves annoyances with very, very overpowered enemies, I believe. No? Okay, that's next time, then. And here's Enter Waka. Oh yeah, forgot to mention that, uh, after we beat the Crimson Helm, Waka just appeared out of nowhere like a freaking ninja again, like he is. And he stole our berry, our berry crystal thing, to open the seal there into Oroji's cave, which is what he was looking for. And then, I believe, uh, yes, Orochi, uh, one of Orochi's head came out, took Kushi, and went back in. Uh, Waka is outside. We're inside. Izu just said to think before you leap. I mean, leap before you think. No, because the other way makes sense. And yeah, now we're inside Orochi's dungeon, cave, fortress, anything you want to call it, to go get Kushi and feed Orochi. See, I'm doing a good job of explaining things now. And also, those imps. Uh, there you see the Thunder Brew. 